having me talk about her heart. And there's just an emphasis on basically saying like, people don't know the full picture of how, to what extent this really affected me. But it's a weird way for it to get presented from someone to just randomly pop in. Have there been recent discussions about an individual having like a heart thing? Have people said someone had yeah, heart my, condition? Yeah, my ex-wife. Okay, this feels heavy. Oh, boy. She, she used um, drugs. But um, the way she passed was not a way that um, I would have, ex I can accept sure. that she passed. Um, wow. The way this comes through, and I, I, I'm going to handle this sensitively, the feeling that comes across is that if someone may have used substances to some extent throughout their life, the feeling is that I know that when I utilize these substances, I'm not going over the amount that I would know to normally right. take. This doesn't feel like someone who's necessarily directly blaming drugs, even though there's obviously contributing factors, but there's something else. it's heart, it's heart. It, heart is fundamentally what she perceives as being the catalyst to her. to her death. Just because the amount that she would have used, she'd done before. And so the feeling right. is like, it didn't kill me then, why would it kill me now, unless there's something wrong with my ability to kind of process or metabolize this. Okay. She's very selective in the way she comes through. She's not giving me like a ton. Um, she's very private. When she's, yeah, she's, when she's connecting with her. Very, that. very, very private. When he brought up the heart situation, it made some sense. He was bringing forth um, my ex-wife. And I mean, I don't think he knew that it was my ex-wife that was communicating to him. Um, yeah. She's having me refer to a reference of remarriage. She's having me acknowledge a thumbs up, <laughs> which references to getting married and being approving of the person we're with. And I feel like this would be her way of acknowledging this sense of happiness that you've been able to move on. You're amazing. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. I mean, they are connected to you by the love that you have for them and that they have for you. Oh. This woman was here, and she transitioned another woman who passed away. She is connecting hands with what looks like a child. And she's coming through, and she wants everybody to know that she helped her little girl when her little girl transitioned, it's and my, it doesn't. My ex-wife and my... My uh, daughter, my daughter passed and my ex-wife passed also. She's coming through and giving me this feeling of, <laughs> I was there to hold her hand when she made her transition, when she left. People would have felt her mother around when she passed away. She comes across and she, um, <laughs> so this is so random, but there's a joke about a Tina Turner impersonation or someone impersonating Tina Turner, and it comes across in a funny way. Remember that I'm saying this. The Tina Turner thing is amazing because my daughter used to, my daughter used to dress up as Tina Turner and run around the house doing all of Tina Turner's <laughs> dances, and it's just like wow, who, nobody could have known that, nobody. The feeling that comes through is basically an acknowledgement from this younger female that she knew how much she was loved, that she was told how much she was loved. Oh. I'm sorry. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. When her mom died, me and my daughter was estranged. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. Of course, sometimes answers can help. Yeah. Love it. Your daughter comes across. She does not in any way blame you or have any frustration with you or have any negative emotions associated with you in any way. And so there's this connection on her end of just acknowledging, like, I want you to know that I love you and that I'm not upset. She does not blame the old you. And she's saying the old you. <laughs> 
I don't know why this is coming across, but she loves her mom and she loves her dad so much. And she understands that you both were in extraordinarily unique situations, but she comes across basically saying, I understand they did what they had to do to get by from their perspective. And she acknowledges being a little girl and she was very smart as a child, but she wanted you to know that she wasn't as detrimentally affected by these things as people might have said that she was. Because when she comes across, she's like, I had an amazing life. <laughs> I had so many opportunities. I have some things here. Sure, that absolutely. That was a picture of me and my daughter. And my baby girl. That's... Wow. My, tw my twin. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is surreal. That's yeah. interesting. Wow. Well, I'm glad she let me know exactly what I needed to know. Oh, my gosh. That is so surreal. My ex-wife was Whitney Houston. I gathered after Either seeing that, that picture. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes. Okay. Whitney Houston. Yeah. Right. I didn't realize that the person I was bringing through was Bobby Christina Brown and Whitney Houston. I am in complete shock. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Whitney <laughs> Houston Brown, right? <laughs> For me, it's not like the sixth sense, where, so I don't see these people's faces oftentimes. I just kind of communicate the message. To me, they're just a soul. It's very humanizing, and I think actually a really beautiful thing that when they come through, she doesn't come through as Whitney Houston. She comes through as your former wife, and so much more than just what people thought of her as. You've, you've hit, you've hit the nail on the head with everything that I wanted to hear, everything that I needed to hear. I don't know how to say, um, push me to move on. Yeah. Um, I'm just really thankful. I'm really thankful that you came. You, you have a gift that is beyond, beyond what any psychiatrist or any <laughs> doctor could, you know, ever you know, tell me or give me. They are very much a part of this new life, just in a different way. So, please know that. Okay. He just, he just made me feel comfortable with um, going on with my life, you know, which is a great thing. I needed that.